When massive stars die, they seed the universe with stardust. Full of elements like hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, silicon, and iron. The raw materials to build new stars, solar systems, planets, and of course, us. Everything we see around us once blasted out from the core of a star. You may wonder what stardust is. Well, you're stardust, because every atom in your body was produced inside the fiery core of a star. The atoms in your left hand may come from a different star from the atoms in your right hand, but you are literally a star child. Long dead stars provided the stardust to create our solar system, the planets, and everything on them. So you're made of carbon, you're made of oxygen, there's iron in your blood. All of those things had to be generated inside the core of a star. There's no other way to get them. So when you think about star stuff, look around you. Everything that you're made of, everything the world around you is made of, had to come from the belly of a star that blew up a long time ago. Even the atoms in our own sun are recycled. Their third or fourth generation, leftover debris shot into space by dying stars a long time ago. Our sun is our stepmother. Our true mother died in a supernova explosion to give birth to the elements which made up our body. But how come the poets and the songwriters, how come they don't write poems to our true mother? is perhaps they don't understand physics and the laws of stellar evolution. We live in an age of stars, but it will come to an end. There's only so much hydrogen in the universe. Trillions of years from now, it'll all be used up. And when there's no hydrogen left, there'll be no new stars. We live in a very brief period in the history of the universe when we still have stars illuminating the sky, stars creating life as we know it, but it's not going to last forever. Sooner or later, the stars will begin to blink out. First, the massive stars will burn out. Then, mid-sized stars, like our sun, leaving only the smallest. Trillions of years later, they too will fade away. Slowly, inexorably, the universe will get colder and darker until the last star burns out and the universe becomes dark once again. The age of stars will be over. Honestly, the future of the universe looks kind of grim, but you can take something positive out of that. This is the best time to be alive. This is the time where life can flourish, stars can form. We are in the golden age of the universe right now. We live in a season for life in the universe, if you will, that lasts for a few billion years. And that makes me, at least, appreciate the way things are right now, because they weren't always that way, and they won't always be. We live in the stage where stars glow and illuminate the night sky, when stars create life as we know it. We live in the best of all stages of the universe. For now, stars will continue to shape our universe, generating the building blocks of new worlds, creating new stars, and filling the darkness with light.